What's up groovy people? I have a quick tutorial here for you on how to set up a subdomain for your GrooveCart store. I've seen a lot of questions in the group about this recently and I actually just figured it out myself a couple days ago. So I wanted to come here and pass this knowledge along to you guys so that you can act on it as soon as possible. So let's jump right into it and I'll show you guys what we're gonna be doing here. Um, as an example, here's what I've already set up. This is my main uh, landing page here, howtorank.com, and uh, it's just a landing page like any other built-in Groove pages. So what I wanted to do was attach my Groove Cart store to the same domain uh, for branding reasons and just to keep everything nice. So here's what I did. I set up store.howtorank.com. So I'm going to be showing you how to set this up for your own website, and it'll take you like two minutes. It's super simple. So let's jump right into what you need to do. Um, this is the example we'll be setting up here uh, as the example. So this is freestateflipper.com. This is a website I use to promote my YouTube channel, which by the way is now just James Jernigan SEO. If you want to find me and get some more SEO tips and web design tips like this, uh, feel free to subscribe. But um, so as you can see, this is freestateflipper.com. And if you come to store.freestateflipper.com, this is returning an error. So this is how you fix it. This is how you get this all set up. The first thing you're gonna do is uh, come over here to your GrooveCart dashboard. You're gonna come to settings and go to domain. And so once you're here on the domain screen, it's gonna ask you, do you have a domain that you would like to use on GrooveCart? Hit yes. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is copy this uh, domain that they give you because you're gonna need this. So where here where it says to enter the domain that you wanna use, you're just gonna put the subdomain that you plan on setting up. So if you want it to be store, uh, then you just put that. So I'll put store.freestateflipper.com. And keep in mind, this doesn't have to be store. You could change this to shop. You could change this to literally anything you want, leads, whatever. Um, but we're doing store, so that's what we'll call it. And then you hit save. Now, what you need to do is come over here to Cloudflare. By the way, I'm assuming most of you guys use Cloudflare um, with your sites. If you don't, then I guess this won't help you, but uh, this is super simple. So you're gonna come here to make sure you select DNS settings at the top here, and then click on add record and you're gonna select C name, and here where it says name, this is where you type in store, or shop, or whatever you're setting your subdomain as here, and you can see it, it pops up right above this, um, so you can tell for sure what you're doing. And then where it says target, is where you're gonna paste in uh, the domain that GrooveFunnels gives you, because what you're essentially doing here is just setting up a redirect. So you click save on that, and boom, you should be good to go. So let's pull up that incognito window again and check. This was returning an error. Now if I click refresh, boom, there you go. It's this sample GrooveCart store I set up, which uh, by the way, this is not uh, you know, a store I'm actually selling anything on. This is just something I use to play around and test. So anyways, that's how you set it up. Um, you guys in the GrooveFunnels group have been super helpful with answering tons of my questions and uh, turning me on to all kinds of new skills and tactics and ideas that I've never even thought of before. So uh, I really appreciate you guys sharing everything you do in the group and I wanted to give back. So I hope this helps you guys get your GrooveCart subdomain set up and uh, I wish you the best of luck. Catch you on the next one.